Hello, thank you for joining this video. Here we'd like to explore the menus and how to create menus for your Shopify store. So first of all, we'd like to begin with uh, our demo store. So our game theme, theme style, the lace. We'd like to take a look at this example here and to see what kind of menus you can actually create. So here, as you can see, we have these several blocks and we get this sale menu. We have the shop menu. We have the stores. We have the about page. We also can go to the blog and the contact us page. And here, as you can see, we can recreate and add several menus to our Shopify store. So to begin with, we'd like to go to our uh, Shopify admin panel and then we need to go to online store here and then to navigation. And from here, you can add menus, you can add it your existing menus. So for our example, we'll add a new menu. So once we go to the navigation, we need to click add menu here. Once we do this, we now need to add the title. So let's just name it new menu, for example. And here, as you can see, we have menu items, which we need to create. So we just simply need to click in here and we need to choose the name for our menu. So let's take a quick look here in our um, demo store. And here we see this shop menu where we also have several sub menus, as you can see. So let's also add the name as shop. Next here we have the link. So we need to add or search for the link to be added. So uh, this will work if we have only one level menu, for example, like block here. So when you have the menu button and you can click on it and go to where it leads you, this is called the first level. But in here, for example, as you can see, we have several submenus. So we have uh, the collection submenu, like linen collection, bestsellers, new in, and underneath these collections, we also have several products linked here. So this bestsellers, linen collection, new in, this would be our second level menu. And these leather slippers, leather sandals, this would be our third level. So when we have uh, the second level and especially the third level, then this button link does not lead us anywhere because when we click or hover on it, whatever you choose uh, for your menu for your store, then you get all of these menus. So this is why it is it's not important to add any link in here as we're going to add sub menus to our shop menu and this link will simp simply not work. However, just keep in mind that if you were to make uh, this like a one level menu without any sub menus, then you can of course add the link to collections, all collections or products, all products like here. Just keep in mind that since we're adding sub menus, we don't need to add the link in here. On another note, we cannot leave this filled blank. So when we try to click add, as you can see, link needs to be a URL address. So if we want to have our sub menus, but we still need to add any link in here, you can of course choose any of this. For example, you can choose any link, it will still not work. Or we can just simply add the hashtag symbol and that's it. And then click on add. And this will work still. So as you can see, we've added, we were able to save our changes and just simply add this symbol and this will work if you want to add submenus to your menu. So now I would like to show you how to add the submenus. So first of all, we need to click on add menu item and here we need to give our menu a name. And next we can add the link. So as you remember, when we created the shop, we just simply added the hashtag link as we did not need to add um, any actual link in our store. As you can see, as in this example, we also have shop, but when we click on it, nothing happens. And now we want to add uh, this kind of sub menus. So as you can see, we have the linen collection, sale, dresses, t-shirts, shorts. And if we click on these dresses here, as you can see, it leads us to the dresses collection. And since we want to make something similar, we also need to add the link here. So we go to collections and we choose our dresses collection. And next, as you can see in here, we have the filter collection with text. 
Shopify admin panel still has this field, but just keep in mind that it is irrelevant. You don't need to add any information in here since this filters filter collection with text is not supported by our gain theme and actually it's not supported by any of the modern themes. So you can just simply ignore this section. Just make sure to add the name, the link that you actually need and then click on add. And now as you can see, we've added our second menu. So now, as you can see, these two menus are created as separate menus. These are not submenus. So in order to make this dresses menu a submenu of the shop menu, we need to click on the menu. And now we need to move it underneath the shop, not above, underneath the shop, and then move it on the right side here. So as you can see, when I do this, we see this movement. And when I move it underneath the shop, here, as you can see, now we have the shop menu and we have the dresses sub menu. So as you can see in here, we also have several of these um, products. We have underneath the best sellers, we have this uncoverable mix hat, we get the bodysuit in milk. We can actually click and go to this product here. So let's go here to our dresses and let's say we want to create a sub product underneath the dresses menu so we click here and now let's uh, name it like any dress for example well of course not any dress but we'll just name it best dress for example once we add the product we can rename um, we can rename it so that this is the correct product so we go to products and from here we need to search for um, any kind of dress for example let's add this jersey midi dress with open back and let's now rename this one to jersey midi dress with open back okay so now we click on add and now we need to do the same. We need to add the item here and move it underneath the dresses. However, keep in mind that this is the last submenu that we can add. So for example, if we also add uh, something else in here, let me just add any product in here. And here, as you can see, I cannot add this balaclava hat underneath the jersey mini dress if I move it up. As you can see, when I move it in the right side, then it's now great. So I'm not able to do so. So keep in mind that you can actually add only one product or sub menu underneath an already existing sub menu. So as you can see, we cannot add this one. So now, as you can see, we get this one example of the sub product underneath the sub menu. And we can, of course, add more products in here. So for example, let's choose once again products. Let's scroll through our products here. Let's find the dress. For example, we have the jersey um, mini dress with drawstrings. So let's okay. So now as you can see, you don't actually need to type in your name. Once you choose the product, the name um, automatically changes to the name of your product. So we click on add and now once again we have another product underneath our dresses submenu. And let's add the last one here. Just click on products. And now let's scroll through here. We need to find a dress. Okay, as we can see here, we have knitted maxi dress in nude. The name is the same. And now let's click add. So as you can see, we have three products underneath the dresses submenu, which is itself underneath the shop menu. So now we can also add more collections to our shop menu. So for this, we need to click on this one, add menu item to shop. So this was add to dress and this is add to shop. So we click here and let's choose the collection. Let's choose the blazers collection. And as you can see, the name automatically changes to the one of our collection. So we click on add. Let's also add another collection. Let's add the outwear, for example. And let's also add one last collection in here. Let's add skirts. And now we can actually do the same with these blazers. So for example, we click on add menu to shop. We choose the product. 
and here we have blazer with with two slits we just choose it and now we take this blazer with two slits we move it underneath blazers and we move it on the right side here and as you can see now this product is underneath this menu and after that we can just easily add new products in here just type in product let's now look for uh, maybe some other blazers so we have this one we can also add uh, another one just add products and let's search for um, this one now we have three products underneath the blazers, blazers as well and we can do the same for the outwear and the skirts we just add a new item from here we search for the products so for example we need to add let's just add these let's search for the outwear so we need uh, some kind of a jacket let's search for it we'll just easily add a new product in here and then move it underneath our um, collection okay so right now I see this skirt here let me adjust the skirt and I will move the skirt underneath the skirts and let's now just find for our outwear so uh, let's try if we can type in the name yes as you can see you don't need to scroll through all of your products you can type in the um, the name if you remember at least one word from the name of your product now we've added it here and let's move it underneath the outwear and then to the right side here so as you can see now we have three products underneath the dresses we have three products underneath the blazers we get one product underneath the outerwear and one product underneath the skirt so we've added all of this to our shop menu as you can see when we click here to hide all of these sub menus we now don't see all of them in here so now let's also add another menu so back to our demo store as you can see we have the stores we have the uh, about we have blog and we have contact us so we can easily add the blog we just click on add menu item we choose here blogs and now let's uh, choose any of our blog pages in here so let's choose this one but let's rename it to simply blog as you can see we now have this block menu next we can click on add menu item we can search for the link and for example let's go to pages and let's click on contact and let's rename it to contact us so now we have three menus and also you can actually add external link in here so not only the links within your store but maybe you'd like to uh, show your Instagram or YouTube or any other socials or maybe any other websites maybe your um, collaborate collaboration partners for example and you'd like to lead your clients to that page so you can for example go to any of the external page so we have the YouTube here then we go back to our menus let's now add the name for example follow us on YouTube and here we just add this external link and now let's click on add here so now as you can see we have four menus we have the shop blog contact us follow us on youtube and if you want to you can of course add even more so we can add the search we can add home page menu we can add more collections we can add more pages for example faqs shipping and returns shop also any page that you have you can add it from here and now let's click on save our changes in here don't forget to always save your changes here in the top and now our menu is ready so this is how you add and create and edit your menus if you whenever need to add a specific um, sub menu or a menu you just go to your navigation 
then you choose the menu which you'd like to add it for example this new menu here with which we've just created and then you choose the section that you'd like to edit and you just choose the edit here and as you can see we can change the name of our menu if it were a menu of a second or third link we can also change the link and then simply apply our changes and this is it this is how you create your menu for your shopify store don't forget to of course save all your changes and this is it if you have any questions, feel free to contact our support team. We're always here to help you. And also check out all our videos in the description box. We've listed all the videos regarding the mega menu, so the drop down, how to connect your menu with your theme. So feel free to check the description box for more information. Thank you for your time. Take care. Bye.